really enjoyed this question. Slightly different take on logarithms. We've got a, um, a gra interesting like graph, basically two different functions and they're meeting at sea and they are modeling or they're designed for a sail on a boat. It's pretty cool using logarithms to design that. Um, first of all, we're asked for the x coordinate of point A. So AC is given by this. So where A is, we've got y equal to zero. So I need to set two log to base two of x equal to zero. Actually, that's just gonna mean that log to base two of x is equal to zero. Now, one thing to be aware of is that all logs, essentially, once you get rid of the constants in front and other things, actually, just put them up, they, don't, they don't even matter, is equal to zero when x is equal to one. You could alternatively rewrite this in exponential form and then x would be two to the zero. Okay, but that would give me one. So, that's that bit sorted. In B, we're then asked for the x coordinate of point B. So that's part of B, C. We need to do exactly the same thing. This time it's log to base 2 of x minus 3 over 2 plus 3 equaling 0. I can rearrange that to minus 3. And then I'm going to um, put this in exponential form. So log to base 2 of x minus 3 over 2 equals minus 3. Another way of writing that is that um, 2 to the power of minus 3 is equal to x minus 3 over 2. We can just swap between them. You could, if you prefer, raise both sides to the power of 2 and then these would cancel out and you'd get the same answer. So that becomes increasingly important in second year actually um, when yeah, it's like, you know, it just, it's just actually the easier thing to do. But here, I'm going to keep it like this. Now, 2 to the minus 3, you can put it in your calculator, or you might know that it's 1 over 2. Actually, let me put this on a new line. x minus 3 over 2 is going to be uh, 1 over 2 cubed, which is 1 over 8. And then x is going to be, well, we could write this as... Um, times top and bottom by 4, so 12 over 8, so it's going to be 13 over 8. Of course, at any point you could put that in your calculator. Okay, this one's sorted, this one's sorted. Right, now by solving an equation involving logarithms, show that the x-coordinate of point C is 2. So, so far we've got 1. Now we've got 13 over 8, which is actually 1 and 5 eighths. And then we want to show that C is 2. So now I'm going to set my 2 log to base 2 equal that AC curve equal to the BC curve. So now we've got a proper log equation to solve. Okay, the steps to do this are to combine the logs. First up, I'm going to raise x to the power of 2. I'm going to use a third rule of logs and bring the power up there. And I'm going to minus log to base 2 of x minus 3 over 2. You have to get them both as logs without anything in front of them before you then use a rule of logs to combine them. Now we can use the rule of logs where we subtract them. So in fact, we're going to divide them inside the log. It's going to be x squared over x minus 3 over 2 is equal to 3. So just to recap, I've used log a minus log b equals log a over b. That's one of them. And I've also used log a to the n equals n log a. I've just done it the other way around. And don't forget, there's also log a plus log b. This is to any base, of course, is log a b. Those are our three rules of logs. All right, next up, we're going to undo the logs just like we did before. So x squared over x minus 3 over 2 is going to be 2 to the power of 3, or 8 which means x squared, I can multiply through, is going to be 8x minus, oh, let me take it a bit slower, 8x minus 3 over 2. 
which becomes 8x and then 8 divided by 2 is 4 so it's going to be minus 12. So that's one and a half. All right, and we've got a quadratic. We're nearly there. x squared minus 8x plus 12 is equal to 0. x minus 2, x minus 6 is equal to 0. So x equals 2 or 6. I've actually got two solutions when they meet, but we've that's because these two functions have essentially been restricted. They would carry on, but we're only going up to this point C where they meet. So I, I wrote, like, I think you just need to clarify really, um, the, the curves first meet at x equals 2, which corresponds with c. Finally, we're told that correct to three significant figures, the area of the sale is 0 0.656. And then asked how much the area is over or underestimated when the curved edges are modeled as straight lines. So let me get a picture of what's going on. It would be A to C directly and then straight down like that. So we've just shown that, um, well, we've got a triangle here. And the width is going to be 5 eighths because A had x coordinate 1 and B had x coordinate 1 and 5 eighths. So we've got 5 over 8, which is actually 0 0.625. And then for the height, well, we've just worked out that the x coordinate, I uh, forgot what it was, it was 2. So I can put that into either one of the equations, such as this one, and we're going to get, um, well, the x, x coordinate was 2, and we put 2 in, we're going to get log to base 2 of 2, which is just 1, so we're also going to get 2 here. And if you tried it um, over here, you would, yeah, you'd get that as well. So the height of my triangle is 2. And therefore, the area is going to be a half times the base, which I, sorry, was 0 0.625, but I'll leave it as 5 over 8 here, times the height, it's also going to be 5 over 8, or 0 0.625. So it's going to be, um, if we use straight lines, we're going to get an underestimate It's going to be 0.656 as the actual, minus this 0.625. gives 0 0.031 underestimate. 